And it's become really clear from my own work that basic science is crucial. It's underestimated how crucial it is. Some of the most impressive breakthroughs that we've had in cancer research have been things like Gleevec or Herceptin, um, really targeted specific therapies. And those, those really are rooted in basic research. So without sort of a fundamental understanding of what the molecular problem is in the cancer, you would have no way to target that with the drug. Targeted therapy really is taking advantage of 20 or 30 years of discovery of oncogenes and what they do and how they cooperate in the pathways that, that they drive in the cell uh, that has allowed us to develop drugs to intervene in those pathways. So if we didn't know what the oncogenes did, if we knew nothing about the proteins they encoded, if we didn't know what their enzymatic activities were or how the cell was responding to those, we would not be able to develop targeted therapy. It always starts at the point where it's invented, discovered by someone at a basic level. In computer chips, what you do, you process information, and massive amounts of information, as you know. In our chip, CTC chip, we process blood, and massive amounts of blood, and within that blood, we look for these extremely rare cells, circulating tumor cells. There are maybe one in a billion cells, so we are looking literally a, a needle in a haystack, and, uh, and the chip finds these cells in circulation, so that's why we call it CTC chip. The whole field of epigenetics and understanding at a basic science level almost collided with some of the observations in cancer, and they help fuel one another. If you know their disease processes that make your fundamental science important, that's a, that's a good, perfect storm. Science is in its way a really beautiful thing in the process and especially when it plays out for great information. And it's terrific to see young people engage that science. Once they engage it, if they find out that it's for them, if they find out they have an affinity for it, they're good at it, then all myriad of possibilities are open to them. And we just need people to keep trying it and going into it. But it is the linchpin of the pipeline that we have to try to bring things to patients. We can't let it dry up. One wants to translate it, but one can't translate something and then find out, oops, you know, there are a whole lot of things we didn't know about. Ooh, whoops, you know, you really have to have really strong understanding and basic uh, and clinical and translational research backing up the way the, um, the cancer treatment and hopefully prevention will, will be employed. Science is incredibly complicated and biology is incredibly complicated and we're learning more and more every day and we're making these incremental steps towards figuring out how all of these pathways fit together and how all of them can malfunction to generate cancer and so you know I'm just excited to be a part of it.